All right, we are here for Townseek Economy Fest demo. Really quite exciting. Uh, we're rolling into the winter uh, next fest demo season. It's actually in, I believe, the second week of February. Uh, so developers, of course, are rolling out a little earlier to show us their demos. And I'm really quite here for it. So let's, let's see what we have. We have the town seek. I'm walking into this pretty blind. Some people spend their lives searching for adventure, love, or even fame. Others might just want to strike riches. When Sir Reginald Sharkingston became the richest shark in the ocean during his early youth, his life goal was achieved fairly quickly. While digging around the outskirts of the town of Sharkdwell, a young Reginald came across a cave full of unknown, shiny minerals. According to Shark Law, since he found the cave, everything within it belonged to him. This strike of luck brought Reginald riches beyond his wildest dreams. Geologists named the newfound mineral Shark Knight. Its energetic properties intrigued Reginald, and with ideas floating around in his mind, immediately invested his vast wealth in shark science. Within a year, his scientists had developed plenty of prototypes, some of which Reginald found very intriguing. Some finally allowed the shark folk to explore beyond the ocean. Thus, the first airship was created. Along with the invention of mechanical legs, shark folk were no longer bound to the depths of the ocean. With his mindset on living on an adventurous life full of exploration and discoveries, Sir Reginald Sharkingston emerged from the water and took off to the skies. And off he went to discover the vast world of Explora. But of course, every shark in Sharkdwell knows that story. You didn't think I just called my top apprentice just to talk about my late grandfather, right? Oh no, I just wanted to let you know that I'm finally done. Fine tuning up your brand new airship. Captain Drawline. It's as good as new, even if half of the pieces are repurposed junk from older ships. I promise you won't even notice. Anyhow, I told you Sir Reginald Sharkingston's story for a reason. See, most people know the overall story, but the specifics have been lost to time. Sir Reginald's journal has been passed down from generation to generation. And now it's in my fins. Ha <laughs> ha! It's in poor condition and is missing a lot of pages, but I think you'd find it more useful than me. It's not very shark dwellian to get emotionally attached to old things, so feel free to use it as your own. Oh. So your Reginald's journal from the ocean to the sky. Some people spend their lives searching for riches, though when luck made me the richest shark in the ocean at my youth, my life was basically over. While swimming around, I came across a large ravine of never-seen-before minerals. By a shark law, it became all mine! So I got rich overnight and enjoyed years without worries. But I had way more than I knew what to do with, so I grew bored of it. Trying to fill the newfound void in my heart, I paid a lot of money on research that would allow me to explore dry land. With the inventions of mechanical lakes and airships, it was my fate to become the first shark to sail the seas. Before we knew it, the voyage towards new civilization had begun. Collection. <laughs> Food. Coming soon. Settings. I am going to turn... Music down just a wee bit. We got goggles. We got our lunchbox with food. We got a portable video game. Perfect for those long trips. Wait, who's boiling? Perfect for those long trips. Wait, who's boiling? 
Who is pilot? Nope. <laughs> Wait, who is piloting? Souvenir, send goodwill to people far away. And a treasure chest. Priceless wishes, SML's like profit. Now, let's take this ship for a test ride, shall we? Alright. Fly your airship around and explore the world at your leisure. You can go anywhere starting here, from Sharkdwell. There are many landmarks to be discovered around the world. Once you discover one, interact with it to visit it and learn more about them. Some areas of the world will be covered until you progress further in the story. For now, try visiting five landmarks and deliver your first quest here in Schwarkdwell. New town discovered. Born to roam the seas and raised to soar the skies. The people of your hometown are apex adventurers. How far will they go? They're looking for food, clothes, and entertainment. High on demand, goldfish. You can help a town by taking quests. Help out the hosts, select a quest, and check the rewards. Accept it and complete it to claim your bounty. You have a limit of town quests. You can take it from each town at a time. Increasing your town rank will unlock new quests. If you want to review, pin, or cancel any of your active quests, you can do so from the journal. Progress. You have three bubble maker. Accept quest. Take tours to the Buff Cafe. <laughs> Buff Cat Cafe. Taking that one? Well, I'm looking forward to hearing how it goes. Okay, so Buff Cat Cafe. I don't know. What do we think would be the cafe by looking? See a golf course. There's is is those cats? As you fly around the world, you may come across item crates such as flying balloons. Interact with them to pop them open. These crates contain random items. I got socks. These demo clouds are too dense. I guess I'll need to wait until the full game release. Town bunny. Bertelberg. Okay, this is a bunny town. These are bunnies. Chocolate river. We got a pencil. I'm not sure where I'm going. Jawline might give me a compass eventually. Goo rig. Rip lands. Oh. Mossy marsh. My pastel falls. Oh. I got it. That cat. Okay. Oh, was it cave or cafe? Oh no, I'm not sure. Cave. Cave, you guys are probably yelling at me. It was cave. For some reason, I saw a cafe. <laughs> Why doesn't Melling Gant sweat? Oh. <laughs> Got good acoustics. Meow, meow. Particular park. Used to be... Okay, wait. Oop, sorry. Looking at the dogs down there is enough to brighten your day. One sec. Alright. Yeah, just checking right there. Stage clouds are known as Demonibus. They should dissipate in the full game. <laughs> the Bing Bull. And the sad castle crabbed him. Uh, 
sharks on vacation? Uh, the basics of the exploration. Veal Lamb Aquarium. The fish are released when new ones arrive. Crabs have to rebuild the royal castle every time there's a high time. Armut crabs banded together and made a kingdom. That's smart. We got a butterfly. Bunnies. Hello there, big fin friend. Are you from Sharkdwell? I recognize that steampunk style anywhere. What brings you to my luxurious store? The reputation of Bub uh, Bubline's fashion brand? Are my liquid hats finally catching on? Most outsiders can't wear my creations, though. I suppose that's uh, my artistic vision might be way ahead of our time. Ah, uh, well. If you're not here to discuss art, then maybe I'll interest you in some local wares. By most of your... Okay. Uh, Alright. Got it. Okay. Got it. Bubble maker. Two and three. Oh, bubble tea! Not made of bubbles, but it's still delicious. Proof that nature itself is an artist. It's kind of ridiculous and cute, isn't it? was that colorful, did you? I saw so many cool places back in my flying days. Now, flying is only part of the job. How about making some money? Go visit other towns, buy some of their stock, sell some of ours, and make a tidy profit. Remember the golden rule, buy low, sell high. What's cheap in one town might be more expensive somewhere else. For example, you can buy clothes and fancy looking things at Sharkdwell for cheap. And we'll pay more money for food, fun, and souvenirs. Most of the time, at least. Prices may change a bit with time, but on average, that's how it goes. But why am I telling you this? You're my best apprentice! Don't overthink it. When in doubt, go with your gut, and you will be fine. As you explore the world, you'll find towns, each with their own unique culture and town host. Towns are highlighted with a unique map marker. You've landed tourists from Sharkdwell. Natural rock formation, the land loves its people. Oh, 
Oh, hello! Welcome to Fluffy Rose Store, Daycare, Workshop, and Miscellaneous. If you need anything, you can bet I can get it done. Mind the kids, they've got excited when they see a new face. Especially shark folk, like Mr. Jawline. Do you know him? He's very popular among the kids. Then again, they think he's a pirate. I don't have the heart to correct them. Anyhow, feel free to visit us anytime. I'll be more than happy to see what unusual goods from across the ocean you bring to our borough. We may be a lot of townsfolk, but you get to know everyone after a while. Average 40, gosh, yeah. These, there are marshmallows all over the place. Yummy! Free stuff. <laughs> Free stuff balloon. Love it. Oh, we got a friend trip bracelet. Really not much of a deal on those. Well done. I'd be more impressed, but I'm certain that was an easy task. I would expect no less from my best apprentice. And to commemorate your hard work, let me give your ship a cool makeover. It looks dashing, even if I say so myself. I call this design the Draw Dropper. You can put it on your ship at any time and make it look as cool as me. Now, let's get to business. Like I told you before, Sir Reginald Sharkington's journal was passed on to me, but most of its content is missing. I can't tell who tore it apart. Maybe Sir Reginald himself has some sort of prank. Or Grandmother Trompin? Who knows? As a result, while shark, shark folk share the legends of his deeds, we don't know for certain the things he saw out there. However, I have a hunch the missing pages are somewhere out there. Since I'm sure the... Since I'm sure of the Sharkington bloodline from the side of my sweet mother, I'm bound by lineage to reconstruct the journal. But I don't really feel like it, so how about you do it instead? If you're going to be flying around anyway, you might as well keep an eye on them, right? Maybe he left behind some treasure. Wouldn't that be great? It doesn't hurt to check with the other merchants if you know if they know about the pages. So, oh, good luck. Let me sweeten the deal. My sources tell me that our neighbors may have some pages. 
Come back to me when you found two, and I'll give you a cool reward. Got something on your mind? Eh, nothing. Get Mao Meowsville page and get Triplands page. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? A little teddy bears being harried by storks? Where are they going? With the dog being twirling in the chair. Love it. We're not gonna see where they go. They're gonna go into the fog, aren't they? Sure are. <laughs> Welcome to my humble store. I'm Whiskey, and at my store, you're the boss. Ah, shark folk. That is unusual. We don't get many visitors from the ocean. There's this one jawline who has visited us a few times. Good friend of ours. Meow. You happen to know him? What are the odds? A friend of him is a friend of us. Meow. Let's get to business, Meowers. Oh. Are you looking for a page from Sir Reginald Shrekington's journal, Mer? Did Jawline set you up for this, boss? A friend of Jawline is a friend of Catfolk. So, as my new friend, I'll share with you some juicy gossip. Yes, I happen to have the page you're looking for. The legendary Sir Reginald Shrekington is well known in this town. But since the page has some emotional value to me, you'll have to work for it. Meowsville is primarily a fishing town, so I want to see if you share the thrill of the trade. Go catch some fish for sport if you'd like some. We have our own fishing farms for our locals, and if you happen to need a fishing rod, I happen to have some in stock, boss. Round business. Uh, nothing I particularly want. Because we're broke. I don't know more. Following this path. Nothing. <laughs> Sorry. These ducks look like they've seen some things. <laughs> they have some stories to tell. <laughs> Eagles took the ship for a joyride and crashed it into some rocks. Oh good, it's not a, a mini quick time event. the towns I already forgot which one but one of them I saw had a pickaxe but that's what that was for Atlantis Atlantis oh. 
harsh sound. A popular tourist spot for underwater species. A dapper fish. We got a dapper fish. I got slightly distracted. I forgot I had to click back. Despite being made of rock. Okay. I should think I read that one. Oh. Helper crab. I can tell that you were born to fish, boss, and not only because you're likely born deep in the ocean. I'm sure the fish are okay with that. Many of them would like to explore the world and maybe find a new home. Well, I've done my part, so Sir Reginald Page is now yours. Sorry about its condition, it's been passed around a lot. Have you ever had your money pouch stolen five times in a day? If not, then you haven't been to Meowsville. While my first impressions of the town made of cardboard boxes and pickpockets made me worry, I soon realized that the feline inhabitants were far friendlier than I expected. Apparently, they play by trying to steal from each other and returning the property with a little gift of their own. What an odd way to showcase their friendship. But even with my new friends, I still felt that I needed more in life. A few months later, we moved on. Give three slime coat. Cats out on the bag. And inventory and quests. More. I can sell the swamp water from here. Ew. <laughs> You're looking for a missing page from Sir Reginald Sharkington's journal, right? I don't remember how I came across it. I'm so busy with my fashion design, so a lot of things come and go from this store. Part of the beauty of art is that you never know where the inspiration will come from. My philosophy towards art is easier to understand when explored for his tentacle, or hand, or fin, or whatever. Have you come across some mysterious crates on your travels? We don't know where they come from. 
Uh, but we do know one thing. They're full of mysterious goodies. Go open some and let yourself captive to its undiscovered be uh, beauty. Okay. Sees. And gals doing yoga. I think that's what they're doing. Uh, last off balls. Get the clownfish. Ah, <laughs> uh, burn him, my pearl. two hats.
Kind of good at cues. Take a drop off. Or take the quest. I turn it in. I mean. Turn this one in. Did you find some cool stuff inside those crates? Do you feel artistically inspired yet? But I'm not going to lecture you further, all right? Here's the page you've been looking for. But I'm not going... Oh, wait. <laughs> she repeated herself. May it inspire you as much as it inspired me. Sailors have told us about swamps before, but we've never thought of seeing one with so many colors. People made out of goo made their homes at the slimy lands they called the Driplands. As I was used to living the fast life of an underwater creature, I wanted to see it all. So many colors, so many shapes, but an el elderly local told me to slow down, to breathe and enjoy the view, rather than eating it all in just one gulp. While talking with my new goopy friend, I learned that he was a famous artist and he invited me to take a few lessons. He kept scolding me for rushing and trying to get good fast. But after a few weeks, I started to understand the value of patience. I kept taking classes for some time while enjoying my time at this colorful place. But even after I got quite good at painting, even if I say so myself, my itch to find something more thrilling resurfaced. I left my friend, my pieces of art, and jumped back into my grand adventure.
a mean sound when you don't get anything good. Arsh. Whoa, you actually found them! You got a sharp nose, apprentice! What? You think I was involved in leaving them there in the first place? <laughs> well, maybe. I thought it'd be a proper incentive to get you to start looking for the rest. Don't think too much about it, okay? You do you, but it'd be very cool if you happen to complete the set. Anyhow, as promised, I got two gifts for you. First, here's a compass. Shark dwelling ships are built to not stray too far from home, so you'll need one of these to go through the cloudy areas. However, it might not help much to pass through places with harsh weather, weather but you'll figure something out, I'm sure. Second, I've installed a stardust booster. Fill it with stardust to go on at amazing speeds. It will come in handy now that you can explore new lands. As for where to get stardust, who knows? And that's for you to find out. Well, apprentice, that's pretty much all I can do for you. Go out there and live your own adventure. Feel free to come back home anytime. You happen to come across Sir Reginald's missing pages? Do let me know. The knockless duck. The legends were true.
is a really relaxing, just completely just zone out and do your own thing game. I love it. No high stakes. No failure. Play. <laughs> <laughs> Moldy old book. All right. Founded by the Lake Sir Reginald Sharkington himself. Somehow still emitting energy. This is a big sign. <laughs> this makes the second game that I've played back to back where it is just cute and it's got a great sense of humor and I love that. <laughs> Crop circles. Interpreting alien signs is a lot easier than it looks. Banded camp. With all those masks, I can't tell if they're bandits or a cult. Law right Town. Take all the carrots you want, but please don't hurt me. Wait. Are you not a bandit? Oh, what a relief. We got some hooligans roaming around stealing produce. They're a bit scary, but you get used to them. They're relatively harmless. Aside from doing petty crimes. Where are my manners? I am the mayor, and since there's not much mayoring around here most of the time, I also run the general store. <laughs> As you discover more towns throughout the world, you'll find that some towns might trade in different currencies than just coin. Bear knows a trick or two about fishing. This uh, Sonic <laughs> reference with the spinning tail. Snakes riding birds.
When the piracy age ended, some coastal towns adopted the fun parts. The pirate traditions. Beehive colony. The queen looks very happy today. A shooting star has crashed. Do I know where? The best picnic spot in the world. Paper ship, surprisingly sturdy. about Law Ride Town. Ah, uh, yes, it's a far away from here, but we regularly trade with those lovely people. They have some techniques to make vegetables grow super fast. Our giant carrots and our chocolate river are weird phenomenons too. I wonder if they're all related somehow. A golden star. I just love this park. I figured the quests were like I'm collecting the uh, balloons and fishing, I'll all just automatically accept them. I'm gonna do them anyway. to come into an end of the game so to speak like we can keep running back and forth and accepting the same quest all right so keep looking oh i got something here <laughs> 
one with nature. Oh my gosh, look, he's painting this happy tree with his fluffy top and his little beard <laughs> painting. Oh, eyes. <laughs> I'm going to look to the south and see if I missed any identifiers down there. But I'm pretty sure we've come to the end of the demo. <laughs> I mean, you can keep playing and just running goods back and forth. But as far as story goes, I think we're done. We got a blobfish. Oop, I picked that up too soon. I forgot to check while I was there. Oh, maybe I... Oh, nope. Thing of the void, it emanates trivial knowledge. You can make your hole look like a hot dog. Thank you. 
Okay. One, one, I know, I just, I said that. But one more tour around. It's kind of addicting. <laughs> I'm just like, one, one more quest. One more. I guess let's make sure we've explored everything. When I'm pretty sure we did. We've got cows dancing. Or maybe doing yoga. I'm not sure. All right, I guess I'm calling it done. Uh, thank you guys so much for keeping me uh, company. It's actually fun, and I am looking forward to the full game release. It's it's just a, a relaxing game, no expectations. You just just play, just have fun, collect the things, turn the quests in, flip the merchandise, have fun with the NPCs. Yeah, I love it. It's so cute. All right, I'll see you on the next demo.